How many mountains to get some confidence? How many debates? Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth. Welcome to my channel. I've got five B DIYs for you today. Let's dive right in. I apologize. The first part of this DIY, I think my camera was dead. Anyways, it's just a Dollar Tree sign, a Halloween one from last year. And all I did was paint it with the maize color. This um, paper is from the Dollar Tree 2022, I believe, calendar. And I just cut it out um, and cut the bottom to fit that curved bottom area. So that is all you missed. I do apologize for that. And all I'm going to do is um, use my glue stick and go ahead and adhere this on to the board. And then I will Mod Podge over it. Also, the back, I did not cover the back. You want to cover the back. It'll look a lot better and more finished. And you're going to see I did make a bow off a camera, off of the camera. What am I saying? Off camera. <laughs> uh, because I was all thumbs. I tried to film it and it was just, it was a hot mess. I am practicing and when I get better, I will start filming um, bigger bows, you know, when I make those. I can do little ones okay on camera, but... The bigger ones I tend to struggle with. So this is my last summer DIYs. I have already started filming fall. Cannot wait to bring fall to you. I have a lot coming. It's so much fun. Fall and the holidays, that's my jam. So I call it this my Super Bowl of crafting. It's like Super Bowl season for me. Anyway, but I do love the DIYs, and these were really simple, really easy to do. Of course, very inexpensive, and I think they turned out super cute, and I really hope that you let me know which one is your favorite and if you liked them. All right, so I do want to welcome you to my channel. If you are new, again, my name is Mary Beth. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for stopping by, and if you like um, inexpensive decor items made on a budget, then I'm your gal. So if you are an existing subscriber, you already know I am so, so, so grateful for you. So thank you for returning. Thank you for always supporting my channel. I am truly grateful. And thank you for everybody being patient with me on my little bit of a hiatus when I moved and camera broke and now my tripods were, I mean, it's just been one thing after another. And so all of you have been so patient with me and I truly appreciate it, but I'm back. Yes, I am. All right. So look at my cute bow. I do think it turned out pretty cute. Again, when I get a little bit better, I will um, film me making those. Um, I've watched a lot of amazing people make them have tutorials. So if you just look up some bow tutorials, they're, they're probably better than me at explaining them. But I wanted a big fluffy bow on this one. And I also needed to tack the ends of the bow a little bit to the side because I didn't want to cover up any of the words. And so there you have it. Super easy, super simple. I really love how this DIY turned out. You could put a hanger on it and hang it, but I just... Uh, leaned it up against the wall on my mantle and I think it turned out so cute. I hope you guys like it. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? What's it dreaming of? I wonder. All right, for the second DIY, this one is pretty quick and easy as well. This is one of those mason jar, wooden mason jar um, signs from the Dollar Tree. And these little felt, not felt, I apologize. What are these? Foam, I think, uh, flowers and leaves. They come off really easy. If you use a hairdryer or a heat gun, they just kind of melt right off and you can easily get them cleaned off. So we are going to paint this with the maize color. However, I am using white swan. It's just a white paint first. Um, I just like to have that clean base. And also since yellow is a translucent, more of a translucent color, uh, I can do less coats if I use white first and you get kind of the true yellow color. So that's what I did. And then I did, I didn't show this, but off camera, I did paint the sides of it black. All right. So I'm going to pull some uh, stencils that I have. These are in my Amazon 
storefront if you're interested. A bunch of cute little B Amazon, uh, B Amazon, B stencils. <laughs> and I'm going to use this one that says B mine. And I'm going to use some black. I use the chalkboard black paint. I really like it. It's very opaque. You only need one coat for even just paint and stuff. And I use it all the time. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stencil the B mine on there. And then all I'm going to do for embellishments is I'm going to use a little bit of black and white uh, baker's twine, wrap it around the top, and I'm going to make a little baker's twine bow. And then I believe I use a little daisy and embellish it with a little daisy. And then this one is done. And it's so cute. Be perfect for a tiered tray, a shelf sitter, wherever you would like to put it. I think it's adorable. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder There it is. So darling, if you like that little ladder and those embellishments, that's on my previous B DIY video. So you can check that out. I will link my B playlist. They're all in there. Anyway, moving on to DIY number three. This was a lot of fun. So you take a Dollar Tree wreath form. I'm using the outer um, ring. I just clipped that away. And then you're going to use two uh, packages of the clothespins from Dollar Tree. You're going to paint one package, all of them, in the maize, yellow, in a yellow color. And the other package, I'm only showing you half a package there, but you're going to end up painting a full package yellow and a full package black. I ended up using not that black acrylic, but the chalkboard paint that I was showing you earlier. And so that's the first step. And you want to make sure when you paint these clothespins, you paint the entire thing, front, back, as much as you can on the inside, because they will kind of show all around so uh you know from a 3d perspective somewhat so paint them all and then on your black ones after they're done i am going to take a back of a paintbrush and dip it in my white chalk paint and i'm just going to make little polka dots and i'm not going for uh anything organized uniform <clears throat> excuse me anything like that they can be different sizes just polka dots on them and i thought that uh adds some lovely uh whimsical to this project you could do stripes you could leave it plain you could do whatever you'd like um all right so what we're gonna do then is take a wood round now i get these wood rounds off of amazon they're a pretty good deal i don't remember the cost i know they weren't too bad i think you get like 10 in a package and i love them and so i'm gonna paint this yellow in the same maize color and i paint both the front and the back and then we are actually not even going to use hot glue. We're going to attach this wood round to the ring from the wreath form 
using the clothespins. Now, you could use a little bit of hot glue if you want, maybe at the end and secure it a little bit more. I didn't need to, but if you need, feel you need to, you can. And we're going to go every other one. And don't worry about the left-hand side. We're purposely leaving part of that open. And you'll see why here in just a moment. So we're going to go around every other one, yellow, and then the black with the polka dots, so on and so forth. And then after that, um, I'll show you why we're leaving the left-hand side a little bit open. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you could use a smaller ring off that wreath form to match the size of your uh, wooden round. All right, so I'm looking at some flowers and I'm trying to figure out what flowers I would like to put on the left-hand side. And I really went back and forth with a bunch of different ones. I'm just showing you some options, you know, daisies, sunflowers, little roses, little yellow lavender, whatever you got, whatever you like. I ended up only using three of those larger sunflowers and two big leaves. And you'll see that towards the end. And that's what I decided to do. And for the inside of the uh, wood round, I don't know what to call this, sign, wreath, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, for the inside of it, I have this cute little wooden bee. At Hobby Lobby, they have a section near their wood pile where they have all different kinds of little wooden embellishments, and they're very inexpensive. I think this one was like 75 cents or something. And then I also got the Buffalo Check stickers from Hobby Lobby on clearance. I don't remember how much they cost, but I know they were very inexpensive. So we're going to spell out the word kind. So we're going to have be kind. Now for the little bee, I definitely wanted to paint him. I didn't want it to have blue wings. So I'm going to use the maze because I want to kind of match the yellow that I have going on. And I'm going to paint his little face. I'm going to paint the, the glitter stripes with the yellow paint. You'll still see a little bit of sparkle, but it won't be as nearly as much. It really mutes that down. And then the wings we're going to paint white. So we just give him a little bit of a makeover after we get our stickers on here. Now, these stickers were not super sticky. So I do end up, which you should do anyways, Mod Podging to seal um, the whole thing. All right. So here we go. We're going to paint our little guy, give him a little makeover. Super easy, super simple. And then after that, we're just going to put it together. We're going to hot glue him on to the wooden round. And then we're just going to, like I said, Mod Podge. And then we're going to adhere the three sunflowers on the left-hand side with a couple of green leaves. I didn't do any type of bow. I thought this, in my opinion, didn't really need one. But you certainly could add one. And anyway, it was it was as easy as that. Now, it was a little time consuming painting all the clothespins, but after that it was it was really easy and quick to put together. I really hope you like it. Never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gets
put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming How people can hate on me What do you think? Do you like it? I meant to tell you this was definitely inspired by some pictures I saw on Pinterest. I did do mine a little bit differently, but just so you know, oh my gosh, Pinterest has everything, right? So I got some inspiration from, from that. All right, moving on to DIY number four. We are going to make a super cute banner. I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby a little while ago, and then I'm also using some, it's like a wide ribbon that I had gotten on clearance last year. So I'm just going to cut triangles out and out of the ribbon right there and out of the fabric. And then we're going to attach them to this black and white twi baker's twine. We're also going to be using some bees that I did get off of Amazon. And you'll see here, I'm going to add the beads on first and you'll see. I'm just showing you kind of how we're going to be gluing them on. Really simple. This was so cute. Turned out so cute. I love it. I can't wait for you to see it. This will be at the end in the final reveal. You'll see the banner with, with the other projects as well. All right, so these beads, I'm putting yellow and then the buffalo check. And then I did put a natural and then the black, but I did change my mind and I decided not to use the natural. So it's just gonna be yellow, buffalo check, black, so on and so forth. Just repeating like that. And you'll see that here in just a moment. Um, and what we're gonna do is we'll have two beads and then we'll have one of the, I'm just going to call them flags, I guess. And then two beads, a flag, two beads, a flag. And it'll, it'll alternate between the bee fabric and the yellow ribbon fabric. And that's how we're going to make this banner. It's so easy. And I'm just going to hot glue, as you can see here, the twine underneath. And at the end, you will have to kind of trim up the edges um, so that you make sure it still looks, you know, like a triangle. I think I showed that at the end, but we're going to do another two beads and then we will do the yellow ribbon that I cut out like a triangle. It's one of those big, big spools, probably like hmm, three or four inches wide, I guess. So it was easy to do to make the triangles. And once I cut the triangle out of the uh, B fabric, the first one got the size I wanted. I just used that as a template for all the rest of them. Super easy. There we go. Now we got it put together. And I'm going to show you right here where you're going to want to trim. Let's see. I think I show you. Oh, we're going to tie the ends, obviously. want to keep those beads on there, so we'll tie the ends. But right here, you'll see where we need to trim that up a little bit on the flags. Now, the hot glue did show a little bit through on the yellow ribbon. It, it doesn't really bother me, but if that's going to bother you, then we'll either use yellow fabric or use um, a different type of glue, and that would work out just fine. All right, the final DIY. So we're going to use this little crate that I got from the Dollar Tree. Originally, I was going to make kind of like one of those faux book stacks, but it turned into something else. So we just went with it. So we're going to paint this white and then I'm going to use one of those same bee stencils that I showed you earlier that we used on the uh, mason jar. And we're going to use a hon honeycomb pattern. So right here, I, I start with this honeycomb pattern and I end up changing my mind. And so I repaint that white. I don't show this whole thing, but then I'll repaint that white and start over. But I use kind of a larger one that I use throughout the whole box, the whole crate, front, back, top, and both sides. So that's what I end up doing. And I think I also used a bee that I stenciled on and the honeycomb pattern also has, it looks like little honey drips. So that's what I used all over, as you can see right there. Well, in a moment, you'll see it's all over. So <laughs> I'm doing the front, I guess, or one of the front or back. I'm not sure. I 
And there you go. You can see all sides now. All right, so we've got this little wooden bee. Again, this was off of Amazon. I've used them in many other uh, videos. And it's real simple. Just going to um, use some spackling to fill up that little hole. And then I'm going to just paint it like a bee with some yellow paint, some black. Going to paint the wings white. And then we will uh, draw some stripes on there. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. So I ended up doing both sides of the B. You probably wouldn't have to because we are going to glue this onto the front of the crate. But it, part of his little wings and head do show on the other side. So maybe you'd want to. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some more of these little beads. I just am using those three, the yellow, black, and the buffalo check. And when we wrap the twine around this crate, I'm, I'm doing it somewhat strategically as I want the three beads to be on the front. So you'll see that here. I'll wrap a few times around and then I'm just going to tie it underneath. And I will add just a little bit, a couple dots of hot glue to keep it secure back there. But here you can see I'm pushing these beads up and making sure they're in the position of where I want them. And there you go. All right, so we're gonna put the B, hot glue the B on the front of the box after we just kind of tack that baker's twine down. And then we're gonna put the little sunflower on top. And to your right, you see these little teeny cute wooden bees. We're just gonna put some on the top and some on the front. Steady and heavy Or younger than twenty All right, we're just finishing up here. Look how cute. <laughs> so again, it didn't, not really a book stack, but I thought it was a cute little shelf sitter tear tray piece. And there it is. I really hope you like it. I hope you like all of my projects today. It was a lot of fun bringing these to you. And it ends, this ends our summer DIYs. Here is your final reveal. This way you can see the banner. There we go. Look at how 
Look how cute that is. I think the banner turned out really nice. And yeah, it looks really cute up on my fireplace. So thank you again. Thank you to everyone who joined me today. I really hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.